Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to RTGF Talks, episode 14. Is it 44? Is it 45? I think we're on 200. It's in like two years, sir. <laughs> well, three, we do it. <laughs> well, we do one a week. Anyways, let's uh, let's just roll the intro. I don't know where this is going. No, the reason why I say you're like my brother, because, so I was supposed to pick up my dad's birthday, Father's Day present or whatever, mm. and he's like, yeah, I won't be home Saturday afternoon, so I'll leave it on the deck. So I, so I go get gas, I stop at Walmart, I drop a package off at, F at, at UPS, I go, and then I'm like, alright, I guess I'll go to my brother's finally. I drive over there, and... I, I, I'm like, okay, it's not out front. Where did he say this box was going to be? I check my phone. I'm like, okay, he said his deck. So I break into his backyard. Nothing. I text him, like, where the hell's the box? And he's like, oh, it's it's by the stairs uh, inside the, you know, on the other side of the door inside the garage. I'm like, okay. He gives me his code. I go. I open his garage door. His truck is still parked there in the garage. I'm like, the hell? I open the freaking door to go into the house, and there's a TV playing upstairs, and I'm like, oh, yeah, not home my ass. He just didn't want to interact with anybody. How, how does that play into me? You wanted to just show up and say hi and leave. Yeah, that's being social. Well, you could you, know, you could stop, interact for, for a few hours. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah. Well, usually, because usually when you want to hang out, it's like several, like seven, six, seven hours. It doesn't mean like two. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. It's going to be like, oh. say hello, goodbye. Gonna, it's it's going to be, I'll be there for a very short time period compared to normal. Mm. Okay. Now oh, I no, see. No, your, your brother's like the complete opposite. He's like... <laughs> it's it's actually kind of funny though. I'm just oh I'm, yeah, it's in the garage. Yeah, enter the code and then grab it and leave. By the way, I'm home, so I could have opened the garage door for you, but you know whatever. He could have done a variety of things. He could have said hello. He could have. Yeah. So did you end up going in and saying hello? No, I grabbed the damn box and leave. I didn't know if maybe he had somebody, there was somebody over upstairs. Uh, I don't know. Well, you knocked three times, you know. First two, I had to make sure they had well, their pants no on. And then well, then there's no door. You, you, I open the door, and it goes straight upstairs, and there's the box. So I'm like, whatever. Hmm. I just grab the box and leave. All the while, the mailman's watching me doing all this. Just probably like, <laughs> is this guy just breaking this guy's house? Yep. <laughs> the mailman's watching me. Yep. Pretty much. Chug that whole water. Oh, uh, my grandma. So, you know, I mowed and she made lemonade. She told me she was gonna make lemonade. Ooh, lemonade. This is this is Hand actual squeeze? Yes. Oh. Four lemons, three limes she said it took. And you know, for a whole pitcher full. But did she put like a little sugar in it? Or? I, I think there. I, she said there was then sugar in it as well. That's it? Just That's it. Lemon, lime, and a little bit of sugar. And water. And water. That's it. And it came out amazing, I bet. It was great. I was like, this is like the fucking store-bought. I didn't tell her that, but I was like, this tastes just like the store-bought stuff. <laughs> but the thing was, though. Like the Minute Maid. It's so, t it's tart, though, obviously, because yeah. it's, it's still. You got all the pulp in it. It's, well, there is pulp in it. Yeah. But well, is, it that, does, is that what's giving it its tart taste? I No, it's just uh, that you, you squeezed, <laughs> you squeezed four lemons and three limes into it. Mm. It's gonna be tart regardless, but it uh, it it didn't quench your thirst. It oh. made you thirstier. What? Because you know it's sour, right? It's still. Oh, sour. My, a friend of mine. We had this conversation. So, we had a huge conversation about you know different words. Yeah, you know, because because there was ah uh, yeah I think it was me as me as lemonade. Have you heard of it? What? Me is lemonade. It's like super sugary. Mm-mm. Uh, anyways. It's, it's really good, but it's all sugar. 
Like, That's usually why it's like good. Like 180 percent of your daily value of sugar. Fantastic. It's good, but it is the complete opposite of a thirst quencher. Really. So we had this conversation. You know, what does it mean? What What is the antonym of to quench your thirst? Like you know, you get thirsty. And so, you know, you quench the thirst. Well, you know, what's the antonym? And, and we found a word that is more or less, you know, what we were looking for. Desiccate. Desiccate? Yeah, that absorbs mm. water. It'd be the opposite of quench. My thirst is desiccated. Or, it or doesn't, dried. It doesn't, it doesn't flow off the tongue as well. Well, I mean, this is the English language. Antonym. That's and, antimony. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to spell antonym. Antonym. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. There's an easy way of doing this. Of one. Hmm. Put out of fires. Ignite. Light. No, oh. no, no, no. We, we found a word that was like, oh, that, 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 that works. Because in the other thing, oh, is it, oh, oh, I think this is for hunger. Is it satiate? Full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because then we had the same conversation about hunger, too. Hmm. Your hunger. And, you know, satiated is another word for, like, satisfied, you know. Satiate. Satiate. Is that how you say that? Yes. <laughs> you, you didn't bother to correct me? <laughs> I didn't know how you said it. I was oh. just like, that doesn't sound right. Satiate. There Satiate. You go. <laughs> Satiate. I didn't know how to say it. <laughs> That's Sat- why I hit the button. Satiated. I don't know. Satiate. Satiate. What? The, the English pronunciation rules are just weird. Uh, there was uh I see sat e aided. Say she it. Say she. It's a sh. Where do you get the sh sound? Say she it. Say sh. It's T-I. a T. T-I. That makes a sh sound? T-I-O-N, remember? Shun. So Shun? T. Shun? So T-I is sh. Sh. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> you, know, you know, theoretically, you don't even need the S and shit. You could just put, <laughs> you just put a T-I. <laughs> you know, you could spell shit. T I T. Yeah. <laughs> we can spell his tit. <laughs> Satiate. Well, from what we've learned here, yeah, uh, yeah, you well, can I spell can... shit with just a T I T. Tit. Just tit could be shit or tit. <laughs> yeah, so, so why don't we say, why do you say titties, not shitties? <laughs> shitties. That's a great question. Why don't we say shitties? Maybe it has to do with the fact that there's an A T I, an A T E, and then an S A. Like, like, think about it, right? Like that, that could be rather insulting. Like, you go up to a woman and say, "You have rather nice shitties." What? <laughs> what is a shitty? Well, you ever heard of the word say shit? Satiate? <laughs> no. Well, here, <laughs> pulls it up on Google. It's like. So I pronounce the word like this. You have nice shitties. So, by this process, by, you know, what is the English language, you could spell shit with just (laughs) T-I-T. Shit. (laughs) Fascinating. (laughs) The English language makes no sense. It doesn't make any fanatical sense. I know. And it's troublesome. Oh, well. No, what word? There's a word. Uh, Vsauce did it in a short. Michael did. Oh, fish. It wasn't fish. It was a different word. But it's pronounced like fish. Oh, oh, with a P. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. It's pronounced like fish. No, uh, no, he was, there was a, no, this is a different word. It's a word that has the most meanings in the entire English language. It has like 400 meanings. I think it's deck. It might be deck, to be honest. It, it might be. Oh, here it is. Uh, what? All right, this word. It's not a real word, but... G-H... 
O T I. G H O T I is pronounced fish. You have the G H in rough, rough, f, 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 w, w, and f, f, and then motion. Wait, fish. Wait, hold this on. This is pronounced like fish. This is. Okay. Wait, what? No, this doesn't make any sense, though. What the O? W, w. Oh, that's if you pronounce. If you say women. 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 It's woman. It's women. 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 Oh, it is women, isn't it? It's women. Yeah, it is with an I. Yeah, exactly. Fish. Woman. Yeah, because... Women. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Broken-ass language. Fish. What is this? What is this? <laughs> fish. You know, I'd pronounce this Gohati, but... Gohati. This is fish. Fish. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> fish. <laughs> No, so there was there's a word he talked about. Oh god, we're never gonna get to the freaking superconductors, was are it, we? Was it just short? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, go to Vsauce. Oh. Uh, this book will put you to sleep. <laughs> That's what it's called. This book will put you to sleep. It, it's a, it, it would actually. It's designed to put you to sleep. Oh, this is a cool. This is a cool video. There's you gotta watch some of these. Is it uh, seemingly infinite? It's one of his. Maybe it's an old. Maybe it was on his TikTok, and it just might be older than some of these. Or you just have to click on it, and he shows it. Oh yeah, here we go. Which English word has the most different meanings? Well, in the Oxford English Dictionary, the word with the most definitions is set. For example, this. Oh yeah, it is set. Jello is set, and my heart is set. If I can set this set on my television set before sunset, we'll be set. And that's just some of them. The word set has more than 400 different meanings. But the lexicographers at the OED have been working for years on their next edition. It's expected to come out in 2037. And they have found that in the last few decades, a new word has gained even more meanings than set. That word, run. So far, they have found more than 645 different senses in which we use the word run. Ten of them are depicted in this graphic from the New York Times. What does the change mean? Does it mean we live in a society where order has been replaced by motion, where what is frantic and where what hustles is good, where we don't just want sets, we want stuff that runs? I don't know, but I forgot to set my alarm. I gotta run. Fascinating. I, I, I need to run my alarm. It's time to go set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now, here's this one's interesting. If I took every single water molecule in this bowl and lined them all up end to end, hours. single file, how long would that line stretch? A hundred meters? A mile? Ten miles? miles. <laughs> no. This many molecules of water placed in. Oh, is that, a, is that a mole? Ten to the four no. milliliters? To no. end would. Um, um, how many milliliters is a mole of water? Oh, uh, oh, uh, what's, what's the, you just, you just convert it to grams. What's the height, well, what's the, what's, what's the atomic mass of, of oxygen? 16. 16, so 16. One. Plus, plus one. No, plus it's two. two. 18. 18 grams. 18, 18 milliliters, right? Yeah. Stretch a light year. And that fact is what inspired us to create the light year bottle. Free yourself from the yoke so of three-dimensional space. Don't drink volume, oh. drink length. How many light years of water can you suck? There's other unusual amounts as well. For example, filled to here, the entire bottle weighs about as much as a warm human heart still beating in your hand. What? Why would you want to know? What? Know this kind of stuff? Well, because I know you. And you don't just live a life of action, you we live a life know. of the mind. No. No. Nope. And you're weird. This bottle and our die that only rolls one number are both coming in the same curiosity. What? <laughs> a die that rolls So he number. has, he made a whole set of dies that roll, they're, they're perfectly calibrated to so, roll up um, to nine sides. Up to nine different options. So you had one, two, Oh, that's two, a nonagon. Three, oh, yeah. Non nonahedron. Yeah, but, you know. But he like he had one for one, so every time you roll it, it lands on the same side no matter what. City box later. Oh, wait, what does two look like? Is that a coin? Pretty much, it's a coin with rounded edges, so it could never balance. 
Ah. This year. How do you, in three, do you read the side that it lands on? Uh, no, I don't remember how. Three is like, uh, I don't know how. I, I have to look at the, I'd have to. When it all arrives. It was, it was were ads on TikTok. Hides at your door, your eyes will fall upon it. And by the way, this is the amount of water in two adult human eyes. If I took every single water wait, wait, molecule in this bowl and lined them all up. Oh, it was 1,041. One, oh, for so a light year. Oh, so just over a liter. Yeah. Oh, I was curious how much water it was. Oh, yeah. so it's, it's like a normal water bottle. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. How many light years can Seek you suck? And if I took every, <laughs> can your thumb do this? Yeah. Anyways, we could we could sit here and watch these forever. There's there's his shorts are very interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there are a few of my I watched back in the day uh, that that were very interesting. Uh, there was a or maybe it was Vsauce three. Anyways, it was some mathematical one that was mm. like, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> No, so so there's there's whispers. Next subject, there's whispers. So uh, type whispers? in Twitter. Oh, actually, just type in X. It's now X. Mm. <laughs> it's now just freaking X. I was gonna say type in Twitter, but Twitter is. Oh yeah, X. yeah. We we had that. Uh, I had, we had this conversation uh, with some, with friends and I. Oh, well, okay, apparently I, I it doesn't that, just pull up. Type Twitter. <laughs> I found out about this yesterday. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Why is it still labeled Twitter? X. Yeah, we had this conversation yesterday. Yeah. It was interesting. Anyways. So there's whispers. Whispers? Whispers. Where? Where is he? Where is the schmuck? Derek Mueller. What did he say? He doesn't tweet. I made YouTube videos about science. I'm I make. You didn't made. <laughs> well, I have watched. Tense. Here we go. <laughs> Who's that dude? This guy? Yeah. That's Styropyro. Styropyro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Uh, well, if look at what look at this photo. Yeah, I see. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> look I'm at the question. Even... Ever what happens? What happens when you short a hundred car batteries wired in parallel? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the age old question. <laughs> age old question. I'm sorry. What? Age old question. <laughs> I've seen a guy, he took 9 volt batteries Damn. and you clip them and you can clip them together. Yeah. Well, you know, you clip 50 of them together. Mm -hmm. They're all in series, but then you can line those up in parallel. Yeah. You can get a ton of voltage very quickly. Well, no, no, you get current. Current current is in parallel. So when you add up when you add up cells in series, you increase the voltage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you add them in parallel, no, you get more current. No, no, but think about it. You have 9 volts per battery. You put 50 of them together in series. Yeah, so, not, so 9... 9 times 50. That, that's how many volts. 450 volts. And then you... 450 uh, volts. And then you wire several of these in parallel, because doing that in series would melt them. Which uh, somebody pointed out in here that these are some of these are why they're wi so like they're wired in like series and then parallel. Yeah. Because if you wired them all in series, they ignite. <laughs> so uh, you have to wire in series and then in parallel. Is, did he already make this video? I, I, I he's working on it. He's working on it. <laughs> Age old question. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, no. Oh, what's this? States. Oh, this is an ad. Don't worry about it. No. So Here's this is what we're talking about. On alleged room temperature superconductor. Me reading it twice. It's easy. Like it's it's lit like the mixture of copper and like the other elements. It's it's stupid. Like I don't know how to describe this, but if it's true. Our lives are going to be completely different. Could literally could be within a matter of years. 
because it's so easy to make. It's so easy to make that our lives will just be, just the world will never be the same. Who is this guy? Oh, he's a meme. Oh, he's a meme. He's not like a scientist. No, there, there's, there was, there was a series of paintings back in like the 1600s where they did stupid poses like this. Oh. There are all. There was a whole genre of paintings from like the like 1400s or whatever where they just had them doing stupid poses like this. Anyways, uh, Scott Mainly, he... He posted about it. If you, look, if you see Scott, scream. Uh, do I not follow Scott on this? I don't think so. I do not. Uh, type in... Why are they not in order? Don't ask me. Scott what? Mainly. M-A. There he is. Rocket scientist. No, yeah, but he tweeted about... Well, he's not an actual rocket scientist. Uh, oh, he's a gamer. Yeah, but he, he knows a lot about rockets. He, he tweeted about it, though. Superconductor recipe works. Yeah. And forged in zero G. Yeah, so there's a lot of people working on uh, replicating the results of this study. Because everybody's really skeptical because it, it just can't be that easy. What, what did he do? He, well, he's not. What, what was done that was so impressive? Who, who what? So no, the paper came out that uh, that said they found a room temperature superconductor that's stupidly easy to make. Like it's stupidly easy, and everybody's like, it can't be that easy. It can't be. We've been searching for literal centuries, and it's just a simple mixture of copper and like some some other crap that you know, just in this right mixture, boom. But I think what he's getting at with the zero G. I think it has to do with you have to get crystalline right though. That's the thing. I know um, very little about superconductivity, but I thought it was binary thing. It's either superconductor or it's not. What would it mean for it to be better? It might be only superconducting within crystals. Zero G might make bigger and better crystals. Interesting. I thought he, he tweeted something about it had a na he he tweeted the name about it. Was it a while ago? No, no. This is like within the past few days. It, it was like the... Well, look at the dates. July 29th? The, the, you can go further back, I think. You said few days. You're going so fast. I can't read these. Well, a lot of these are just retweets. New neutron. No, it hasn't been that far ago. Uh... I swear, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe he retweeted somebody. But oh. it was, it was, the somebody said the new blob, maybe he was replying to somebody. Well, so you'd have to find the thread that he replied in. What, what, what was the thing? Super, con type superconductor. K. K? It should, nope, 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 nope. Says room temperature. Ah, there's a video about it. Here, here, come here. Research is clean. Yeah, the LK99. The LK99. Okay. Potential room temperature superconductor. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just waiting on other people to replicate it. It's a hexagonal structure that's slightly modified. What's it made out of? Copper. Oxide. Potassium. Pota that's not potassium. That's phosphorus and phosphorus. lead. Who's potassium? Oh, okay. 
copper, oxygen, phosphorus, and lead. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, it, it'll it be toxic, unfortunately. But, do you realize what this means? No. Imagine, uh, so, high sp- imagine you could pave... High speed rail would be easy. So stupidly easy. Because you would just construct the bottom of your thing in lead out of this, and then you'd have or you or now you could pave you would make your, your structure, the concrete basin, out of this material and then put magnets in the train and the train would just vroom. Now, you just the amount of energy you can sit. The thi- However, here's the thing about a superconductor. This doesn't... A room temperature superconductor means you have to spend less energy on levitation. It doesn't get rid of all the problems. Because as this material heats up, it will lose its superconductivity. Mm-hmm. More than, I can't imagine it, it, it has a... You know, it can get up to... Oh, oh, what, no! The team claims it functions at a super ambient pressure and below 400 Kelvin. 127 C? Mm-hmm. No oh, yeah. way. What? 127. Okay, never mind. Never freaking mind. Never mind. You could, you could put this as the coils on your stove. Wait, when you... No. You could build... The stove gets a lot hotter than 127. That's true. Well, it wouldn't work anyways because you want it to superconduct, not conduct, you know, you know not make heat. But yes, I resistance mean, is heat. Imagine Conductor putting this in your wall. Opposite of resistance. What? Imagine, imagine we start building grids out of this stuff. Imagine how much more efficient the power grids could be. Yeah. Imagine how much more efficient electronics can be. Mix this with superconducting uh, uh, transistors and pff, you have a next wave of hyper-efficient technology. Yeah. This is... It, 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 everybody's like, it can't be that easy. It can't be. Yeah, well, we'll find out. I know. Well, that's what they're waiting. Because like, it's so easy to make. Like, like chemical YouTubers, like all the chemistry YouTubers, they're like, I can do this at home. They can do this with the crap they've got. I don't know. They should try. They should try. Yeah. See if they can make a, a superconductor with this stuff. I mean, uh, Nile Red's made superconductors, not room temperature ones, but he's made room temp. He's made superconductors. Wow. Well, here we thought we would need AI. To help figure out, you know, how to make room temperature superconductors. And we beat the AI to it. AI is not even ready for that problem yet. Well, actually, yes, it is. We've been using supercomputers to calculate harder and to calculate materials for. Yeah, but no, I I mean, I just, just ask it what is the best compound for superconductors? Oh, well, that's like. Well, it mean, doesn't know enough about every element and ways in which they interact with one another. Because we don't know. How much. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But apparently, we figured it out. If this is true, if this is true, we have we can, we have to hold our excitement just a little bit. Yeah. We have to wait. Mm-hmm. But if it is true, and this stuff is easy to just pump out like crazy. The world will never be the same again. Yeah. Imagine how much more efficient electric cars can get. I mean, the end, the motors are already incredibly efficient, but think how much smaller and pa- more powerful we can make electric motors. Yeah. Imagine just you know, a little thing like this could, could you know, move your whole car. Yeah. And then you know, and then the bat, then battery tech. We just don't have to push it as hard. I mean, it'll still take forever to charge, and they'll still have the same problems they have now. But we just don't need them as energy dense. Yeah. Oh, 
I almost no, I don't think it would. I think I think batteries are still just aren't there yet. But this could oh, yeah. help with electric planes. Imagine your motors being hyper efficient. Yeah. Think about your phone lasting. Well, that's the thing, right? It it revolutionizes moving electricity. It doesn't really revolutionize computers and that kind of stuff. Because your phone is still it's going... It's already fast enough, I think. For at least what I use it for. Well, no, I'm not talking about making it faster. I'm talking about efficiency. This is not making things faster. It's making these efficient. Well, it would make it faster too, right? No. You mm. need something that the transistors need to... Flip fast. The word because we're talking the scales at which we're talking on a microchip are so small that electrons, the time it takes for electron to get from transistor to transistor is irrelevant. Now this could now this will help with RAM because the problem we're running with RAM right now is so DDR5 RAM has to run so run so fast. That the signal degrades really quickly. And so we can't put it in laptops because the RAM sits too far away from the processor uh, with the current qualifications for RAM. Mm -hmm. But this, if those traces are made out of a superconducting material, the, the signal should not degrade nearly as fast. Potentially, yeah. Lead's going to get a lot more valuable, <laughs> as is phosphorus. <laughs> yeah. Man, we need to start buying lead <laughs> so we can sell it. <laughs> if this is true, if it's true, because if it isn't true, well, then, you know, we're back to the drawing board. But if it is true, start buying lead, boys. <laughs> yep. All the people with arsenals in their basement, I've been buying lead for years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is what this... Sir, we've been looking for a business to start. If this works, that's what we do. We dump our entire savings on building a superconducting facility here in Lincoln. No, oh, you can. What? You don't want to make absolutely... You want to be absolutely filthy rich producing... No, I just, don't want to be in charge, I just don't want to be in charge of a business. Oh. I, I, I'm not really a, a business you leader. You don't think you can boss around some chemists? I don't. Uh, I don't have the personality for that. I don't. I. I. I, w I enjoy being the, the technicians. Okay. No, the, I, I didn't. I, I, I there. Are, there are two types of people in this world. You know, there are the leaders, and then the, there there's are th three types. But yes. Oh, what are the third? I don't remember what the third was, but carrots. I, no, not carrots. <laughs> No, there was a th there th with this with the analogy of leaders and followers. There is a third type. I don't remember what they were, but I think that was just you know a movie. But go on. Oh well, no, I wasn't gonna say followers. I was just gonna say like uh, inventors. Like you know, there's the business type, and then there's the entrepreneurs, the people that you know just they just want to make shit. The inventors, the innovators, but then there you have the leaders. You know. The inventors, they just want to do stuff. They just, they just like tinkering. Why? Well, hey, perfect. You but can then, sit then, down in the lab with the boys. And but then you have the business type. They're just like they don't they don't want to be a part of that. They just like managing people, and ideas and things. Look, I'll be sitting upstairs, be talking to the talking to the and, you know the investors and be like, look, look, look. I need another million dollars. Why do you need another million? Look, the city, my the city of Lincoln has asked us to replace all the leads in town with superconducting material. I don't know what to tell you. I don't have enough fucking phosphorus. <laughs> we know while we're at it, replacing all the wires, and so, we should just make all the light bulbs red. That sounds like a horrible idea. What do you mean? R your eyes are less sensitive to red, which means we may finally be able to bring back Lincoln. It's like a board of four or five. No one's going to want that. No one will ever... I am someone that would want that. I am someone... Am I not someone... And you said you didn't want to lead said anybody. No one. You, you, you didn't want to lead, so you're going to be sitting down in the basement <laughs> yeah, but tinkering I, with the chemists. But I am proposing an idea, you know, that, that then the business board would then have to vote on. Yeah, obviously. The board? You mean me? <laughs> <laughs> I fired the board I, of directors I, 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 yesterday. I have an idea. <laughs> a proposition. Now, hear me out. Right? 
We make everything red. They just replaced all the damn bulbs in Lincoln. To blue! blue. Why blue? <laughs> well, the, 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 that was unintentional. <sighs> They're suing the company for over that. They need to go back to... They need to make them red. Make it... Oh, we go, we go back to oil lamps. Oil <laughs> lamps. Yes, we go back to killing <laughs> whales. Fine. Gas lamps. Oh yes, yes. Let's just let's just go back to the whole reason why we're putting superconducting <laughs> wires in in the first place is to save the Boston environment. Boston used to be a Bortle two in the eighteen hundreds when they had gas lamps or oil lamps. The town was also like a fraction of the size. It was still big, but like think about that, right? You can sit in the city center, town square, look up, and see the same sky we see in Alexandria. Yeah, but think about, I don't know, the, the, the fire It'd actually be better. It'd be better because there'd be no, like, you know, light pollution glow. You know? Think it, about the risk of fires. Eh. Think about the that's why I said. Emissions. That's why I said just make everything red. Sir, the whole point... You make everything red. No, you don't want to do red. Why? Red is perfect for night vision. No, yeah, but it's imperfect for astrophotography because there's a certain wavelength of red you want, and now you're going to literally drown it out. Well, no, 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 but the people do do astrophotography. They don't do it in city center. And yes, they do. Some do. Well, now it's easier to get out. You can get out of town. I suppose that's true. Hold on. It'll get worse. What will get worse? Because the red will travel further and disperse more. Uh, that's, that's bl uh, is that blue light? Yeah, but it's still red. It'll go further. It'll be worse. I think blue light travels faster. No, farther. but it doesn't go as far through the atmosphere. It gets scattered quicker. The red doesn't even enter the atmosphere. It, it bounces off and it goes to the edges, which is why you have red sunset. No, I'm talking about from the town, though. It'll get worse, because the, the red will go further before it scatters. But it would not be as intense. Your eye... But see, the thing is that your eyes would still be able to have... Would still be dark adapted. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. But we're not replacing the light bulbs. That's not my job. I'm just selling wire. You want to, but you want to, you know, dig up all the wire and stuff underground. Yeah, I'm just saying while we're at it, change I'm the light bulbs. Selling wire. I'm not actually digging. I'm not a contractor. I'm just I'm saying while, while, while wire. we're at it, you know, put in red light bulbs. Look, I'm just slinging and wire. And also, you know, put a little canopy, you know, to shield them too. Look, I'm just slinging light bulb. I'm just slinging wire. I don't care what you do with the wire. We should paint all the, you know, concrete black, too, to you know, absorb the light, too, rather than, you know, reflect it back up. So that in summer, your tires melt on contact with the pavement? Yeah. Great idea. <laughs> Genius idea. Anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every Friday, uh, 12 p.m., such a time, and good night.